Testament. And Aoki. Aoki and Southpaw stance. He's improved his stand up a lot, Aoki. Been working some Muay Thai. There's a nice round kick off the back leg. And again goes the liver section. Ooh. Double looping lead hand there from Aurelio, but didn't turn the knuckles in. No knuckles, no hip turn. Kind of looks lazily through mouth. I think he was more surprised that they hit than we were. I was about to say the same thing. I think you're surprised he got distance there on Aoki. Aoki obviously has the length advantage, the reach advantage. But he's, he's more of an inside guy. Aoki look to drop down and maybe wrap up a leg. He's got enormous feet on him for a man of his size, Aoki. What to say about a guy with big feet? Where's big shoes? Big socks. Aoki looking for a takedown. And really in this battle, does Aoki doesn't really get the takedown. He can just jump guard as long as he's in control. Top position here for Aoki. This is Aokiville. Now the real game begins live. with these two guys because this, I'm sorry, Mike, let me step on you, but this is really how it works now for these two cats. That, that both these guys are great grapplers. They're okay punchers. They're okay wrestlers. Let me take that back. They know how to wrestle. They know how to punch. They're not really good at either one. The grappling game is where both these guys are superior. Let's see which one style is better. Looks like he took a little flick to the groin there, Aoki. Grimace momentarily. New wife won't be happy about that one. Gets backed into the neutral corner here, Aoki. Well, she might be happy. She might only want one child. You're done. <laughs> Aurelio. Oh. He's got real long, skinny arms. He's able to get these weird ass chokes on his top side. And great positions that he's not that most people can't get into because of his, his length and his reach for the weight class. Aoki gets the takedown and he mounts the Brazilian. Trouble here for Aurelio. Oh, he's got a he's got a, a body triangle type position with his legs across the across the knees so he can't move out. Look at the length. A guy like me against you know, other 85 pounders, I can't do that because they're so much taller than me. Yogi's really tall for the weight class. So he gets, like I said, he gets away with weird, weird positions. It's been really hard for Marcus to get out of this mount position. And the nasty Aoki. He's been wearing his Nick Diaz t-shirt all week. Yeah, the announcer was a speculation when we fight Nick Diaz. I saw Scott Coker sitting off in the background. I thought maybe he was going to announce this Nick Diaz fight. And it wasn't, was it, hands later? No, sir, it was all about him being a daddy. Can you blame him? I mean, that's the, you know, the whole thing was this big announcement. I, did they say boy, girl? Did not say? No, at the, the beginning there, we saw Sakuraba giving us, him some advice, depending on whether it's a boy or a girl. He said, treat her really well and really nice if she's a girl. And uh, if it's a boy, then arm lock the hell out of him. <laughs> right hand there to the jawline from Aoki Aurelio, just pulling the head down towards his chest. Aoki posting up on that right arm. Still got the triangle locked in here. Has Aoki in the top position. Aoki. Just all over Aurelio here. Referee called for action. Aoki just doing enough to keep the work rate up so they do not restart from a standing position. Which is what Aurelio would so like right now. There he goes, he's gonna make his move. Side control now for Aoki, so slick. Oh, drill the knee to the kidney. Wow, the flexibility to be able to do that from that position and build the power up and the ability to get past his guard. This kid is really good. And he's getting better because now he's getting more violent. And he's got violent submissions, but he's getting more violent with his strikes from the guard game too. The rumor floating around that it may be Aoki versus Melendez at Dynamite on New Year's Eve. That would be epic. <laughs> What are they shouting now, Hanslider, from the corner in front of us? Of Just saying, it. don't let him up. I'm surprised he went this long. I thought Aoki would have caught him by now or something, but he was so content to sit there with the triangle on the leg, he didn't really want to move anywhere. Oh, rips him with that right hand to the side of the jaw, Aoki. They're telling him, lock up those legs again, hold them down and hit him. It's not the most exciting brand of fighting from Aoki here in the first round. It is effective, though, just grinding away. I have to be honest with you, Michael. This is the best ground upon I've seen from Aoki, though. This is the best he's been active. Using this position, he stays so tight, past your guard, finds a limb, finds some way to finish it off, and that's it. But this time, he's actually grinding, and he's actually bloodied up Marcus Aurelius. 
You see the cut on the bridge of the nose, some swelling around the right eye there of Aurelio. Aurelio tried some upward strikes of his own, but nothing effective. Irritating more than anything. Oh, elbow to the body. Oh, nicely done. Tucked it under the armpit there, Aoki. Then a hammer fist strike to that damaged right eye. Aoki picking his shots methodically. And now the referee will restand them. Yellow card here for Aurelio. Why? That is that is disturbing. Aurelio can't. Why? What, what was he meant to do? <laughs> that's that's. It's uh, <laughs> one of the reasons I don't like the yellow card, but it does create action. And he's falling. Aoki shoots. Aurelio sprawls and takes the back. Oh, Aoki! Oh, Aurelio! Aurelio locks onto the arm, now pulls the head down. That was a good flurry there. Nice scrambling. Wow, that was a lot of action. That, was, that could have been another another huge finisher for Aurelio. He could have finished this off and walked away another freaking another hero. It was quick. Aoki inside the guard. Aurelio throws the legs up. Closes the guard now. Under one minute remaining. Oh, Aoki cracked that one, and Aurelio to make a quick count of his teeth. Aoki applying the pressure. Squeezing down here. Referee calling for action. Again, there's not a lot that Aurelio can do from this position. It's kind of stuck. I mean, really, it's just, it's all it's all because Yoki's just laying on and holding him down. There's no position. Like, in, in my mind, if you have to give a yellow card to somebody, you have no, you have no choice to give a yellow card to somebody. It's got to go to Yoki. <laughs> Let's see what Aurelio can do. He does have a good jab, the Brazilian. I'd like to see him use it more, and he does just that. Trying to set that right hand. There's the right hand counter. Aoki got underneath it. Get away from the ropes. Aurelio's got to get off the ropes right here. Aoki's got to keep him on the ropes. Still to come here tonight, folks. Sakuraba versus Mayhem up next. And then Musashi versus Mizuno. Two blockbuster fights remaining. Aoki drops down. Single. Now to a double. And Aurelio is planted on his backside. Jeez, what a great job by Aoki. He's got real, real nice, tight, tight takedown, tight pass. Aurelio's having a hard time now, really trying to battle because. The difference is too, that a lot of times in jiu-jitsu, guys find a space to kind of take a break, where there's like a scramble, everyone kind of stops and takes a second to kind of rest. The problem with Aoki now is that the way he's, he's punching, there's no break with Aoki on top of you. You're kind of stuck the whole time. And once you kind of find that jiu-jitsu space to rest, you're getting punched again. And it really was more of a jiu-jitsu guy than he is a striker, so he's very uncomfortable. What is Aoki setting up for here? You know that he always thinks about 10 moves ahead. You wonder what is going through that tactician's mind of his. A very cerebral fighter, if ever there was one. He's pulled out some extraordinary submissions in his dream career. My favorite, that reverse goggle plata. The Aoki plata, as we dubbed it. The one against Hirota at Dynamite. One against Kawajiri last time out. He can seemingly do it all, Aoki. Aurelio is having a very tough time. He's proving resilient, the Brazilian. Not the sort of welcome back to Japan that Aurelio wants it. Not at all. It's complete domination to this point. I mean, nothing that really was done other than a couple jabs has actually worked. And it's got to be so frustrating because he's got high-level jiu-jitsu. He's got great jiu-jitsu, and it's just not working against a guy like Aoki. Hammer fists again from Aoki. That one there was smack on the nose. Be breathing out of the back of his head after that one, Aurelio. Aoki wants to mount him, gets the mount. 
Beautifully done. And I love the appreciation that the crowd, the educated crowd here in Japan shows for a move like that. You hear the round of golf claps. Aoki again with that triangle. And he kind of takes his other foot and overwraps it over your feet too, so there's really nowhere for you to go. I mean, the only way I really can do right now, and honestly, is, is stop battling the hands. You're stuck here. Stop battling the hands. Take a couple of punches and push on his hips and start sliding your feet out. Like, because you, you can't do anything else. You got to get your hips out. You got to get clean of this. Otherwise, you're stuck. I hope you just stay in this position. Just grind down a decision here. The crowd wants to see him go for a sub. I'm sure you do wherever you're watching this one live. One nice shots there around the eyes of Aoki. Won't do much damage though. Aoki postures up now, tries to drill that right hand between the eyes. See, really at this point, he must just turn his hips and get and do regular mount defense. You know, turn like we take over his hands, turn his hips down so one leg can come free, push on, on Aoki's hips and just get out of this because he's going to spend another, another minute and a half here losing already the, the rest of the fight. He's got to do something. Big cut oh, here geez. now over the right eye, it looks like, of Marcus Aurelio. And you know that's like waving a red curtain in front of a bull with Aoki. He'll just go after that cut. He'll open it up, he'll deepen it up. He'll put a money box on the forehead here. Last round, the moment is going to be One minute remaining in the fight. Last in the last round. It's been all one way traffic, hands laid up. This is interesting. Aoki's corner was just telling him make him defend it. I think they, I think they're trying to get him, get Aurelio to bring his hands up so he can attack him with a submission here. Are you surprised, Frank, that Aoki has spent so much of the fight in this position? Yeah. And seeing that it hasn't worked for him for a sub, that he hasn't broken off and switched up and tried to transition to something else. Yeah, I thought for sure after about 30, 45 seconds of him in this position would have moved. It's been like six or seven minutes. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I don't know if, if, if Yoki's looking for some, some particular thing or what the problem is. He doesn't feel comfortable moving up there. It's a new technique or what the deal is. But he's dominating from this position, but he's not able to finish the fight. Ten seconds remaining. Aoki is going to claim the victory here and claim it easily. This is one of those fights that should have went, it should have been finished early. Like, there's, there's no reason for this fight to go to business. Judge Ohashi, Aoki. No brainer here, folks. Judge Isono, Aoki. Judge Shoji, Aoki. Yute Shusa, Aoki. Aoki takes it with ease. Shia. Aurelio was resilient. 